I look so puffy and just so tired. I actually slept pretty decently, um, shockingly, um, but I'm still so tired. I feel exhausted. Esme's is still sleeping. <laughs> it's like literally about to be eight o'clock. Legit, actually it's eight o'clock right now. I also feel like I feel extra tired because my body is so sore um, because I've been doing Pilates and I really love it, by the way. I'm so hooked. Um, I'd, I've always had the Melissa Wood Health Pilates app for at home. And I do that all the time. So um, I just tried to start to remember to try to incorporate it into my daily routine. Because I want to try and do it every single day. Even if it's like a 15 minute workout or whatever. But I've also been getting into Reformer Pilates. Which is going to a legit studio and doing Pilates on a Reformer machine. It's like a table machine. Um, that is heavenly. And it's kind of nice just to kind of do a class instructed in person and there's a bunch of other people and you know it's just kind of fun to do it that way too and it's like low key it's not a ton of people um i canceled my gym membership because i was just like this isn't this isn't my this isn't my world this isn't my vibe right, i'm gonna continue ice rolling my face and i'll come back when i look a little bit more presentable um, i'm just gonna kind of get myself together but welcome to um, a couple days in my life actually I'm gonna do today and maybe the next couple days I'm just gonna give you guys some little snippets in each day of what a day in my life is like but hope you enjoy breakfast made I just made myself some oatmeal with some cinnamon and brown sugar um, shaved almonds hemp seeds ah! <laughs> blueberries and raspberries and then Esme's breakfast is a pancake but I make her the protein pancakes from Kodiak cakes we love those so she's got some pancakes um, oatmeal with cinnamon and then some raspberries so breakfast is served <laughs> playing with her busy board. My father-in-law actually made this and it's like so genius. <laughs> she loves the door stopper. Oh, you're okay. I made some coffee. All right, I'm in my bathroom currently. Esme's down for a nap. She was like eating her lunch and she was literally about to pass out. She was so tired. So she's down now down for a nap. Hopefully she sleeps till about 2.30, 2.45. That would be three hours and be the perfect nap for her. She's only on one nap a day, so crossing our fingers um but anyways i'm in the bathroom right now i'm currently filming a instagram video tiktok video i'm gonna post them on both um of my sephora haul and doing my makeup with you guys on camera um i'll show you guys what i picked up in my sephora haul right after this but i'm doing my full face of glam at the moment so if you guys want to see that video go ahead and check out my tiktok or instagram whatever platform you're on um Hopefully the video turns out good and I post it. So cross your fingers. Sometimes I like don't do good with this TikTok IG filming thing. I'm really, really strong at YouTube. But anyways, I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll show you guys what I picked up in my Sephora haul. All right, lips. This is one of my favorites, Dior Lip Oil. It is so good. And if you've ever gotten your makeup done with me, you know I'm a Dior, I'm a Dior girl. Um, I'll show you guys what I picked up from the Sephora sale. I'll link everything for you guys down below as well. Um, but I got a lot of products. Basically everything is for my makeup kit. But I wanted to try out some products that I haven't tried yet on myself. I like to use myself as like a little guinea pig. That way I know how to use the products. Who they're made for and all that stuff. So this foundation is one of my favorite Holy Grail foundations. Especially for multiple different skin types. So I just picked up three new shades. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. I got the shade 3, 3.5 and 5.5. I needed a refill on these ones. But this is such a pretty foundation. It just gives the skin such a pretty, pretty finish. Keeps your skin looking like skin. And like just kind of evens out the tone. So I really, really like this. It's also buildable. So if you need to work up the coverage, you can do that with this. I went off a recommendation with this product and I tried it out today and I am so pleasantly surprised on how the product is sitting on my skin. 
This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct 24 hour wear hydration full coverage creamy concealer. <laughs> I just kind of read a bunch of it on the back, but I got the shade 0N and 1N. So I just got my shades to see how I like the product. And if I like the product, which I'm obsessed with it, um, I could ex extend the range and get more shades. So very happy with this, very pleasantly surprised. Um, I did, however, not use the wand on myself because I knew if I was gonna love it, I'm just gonna put it right in my kit and I'll get my own. So when I applied this product, I literally just took the product and put it on the back of my hand. That way I could keep it sanitary. I did wash my hands before I started, so that way my hand was sanitized. I did grab a mini version of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I got the shade 4.5, which is the shade medium. I use the shade 4, 4.5. I have used 3 before, but 3 tends to be like a little orangey, so you have to use it on the right skin tone. Um, and then I also use the shade Deep, which is number 8 love that color too especially for deeper skin tones um it also works great if you want like a subtle contour if you're doing like a no makeup makeup good for camera but you don't want too much shimmer so be careful with that um but yeah those are the shades i gravitate towards all the time so i got a mini one because i did a whole kit condense on my kit and i didn't want to get a bigger bigger one but it literally you guys <laughs> you should have saw me try to condense this into a smaller container. It is impossible to get the product out of here. So if you are a makeup artist and you want the flawless filter for your kit, just get the mini version. Although it sucks because I'm looking now and they only have four shades in the mini version, which is so annoying. I wish they had all of them because that's annoying. But I guess if you bought all the shades, you would have a pretty, pretty good range. Um, but it only goes to 6.5 of the mini shades. So that's kind of annoying. But anyways, love this product. I just picked up that for my kit. Um, these two products I got as a recommendation from a bride of mine when I did her trial. She brought a bunch of her own makeup in because she has super sensitive skin and she was just wanting to test the waters with my makeup and her makeup and I loved these two products out of her kit. I ended up buying them for mine, but also I bought them because I wanted to have them on hand and use my product when I was doing her makeup on her wedding day. That's just like my, my rule. If, if a bride loves a product, a concealer, um, a mascara, whatever, she loves it so much, I will buy it and have it in my kit forever, but use it on you on your wedding day because it's my product and you're paying me to come and do your makeup. I'm going to use my stuff so we're not wasting yours. So anyways, long story. But these two products were recommended to me by her and I loved them. So this is the Kosas Air Brow, such a good brow gel. I just got the shade clear, that way you can use it on most people. The Ilia Liquid Serum Highlight. Not a lot of people are talking about this product and it is so, so, so good. This is the shade Nova. I have it on today. It is such a pretty highlight. It also looks really pretty underneath makeup as well. So if you want to add a little bit to add an extra glow to the skin, if someone's looking for that glass dewy skin, stunning. Love that. I picked up a mini Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is such a good primer. Keeps the makeup on for most skin types. Looks really pretty. Um, I'm oily skin and I love this product. So pick that up. Very happy that this guy is back in stock, okay? This was out of stock for a while and Charlotte Tilbury, you were scaring me because this is such a good product. I honestly should have bought like four, but um, mama don't have that much money. So Charlotte, I'm happy to receive some more if you want to send me some. But anyways, such a good bronzer. Oh my gosh, I would not even, this is technically called her contour wand, but is to me it's more of a bronzer. It just creates a pretty, pretty finish on the skin. I have it on today. I'm like focusing my light so you guys can see a better finish of the makeup. So I have it on today. It's just very, very soft, very subtle. You can build it up. You can take it down depending on how intense you want it to be. Um, the applicator is actually really nice, but although there is an on and off button on this applicator. So you literally just twist this on and off. It literally says on and off. Make sure you turn it on. A lot of people didn't know that this had an, an on and off button and then they were always complaining that the product was literally spilling out. And I made that mistake when I first got used to this product until I figured out there was an on and off button. So make sure you turn it off so that way it doesn't spill everywhere. Um, yeah, that's just something I guess a lot of people didn't know. Okay, so then I picked up 
three powders. Um, this one is the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Multitasking Face Powder. I got the shade Porcelain. I got one shade because I just want to try out the product, see how it works. Um, I got it more for my shade. Usually when I'm trying products, I get my tone and then I know how I like it and then I just kind of throw it in my kit or I keep it and get another one. But I just got one shade to see how I liked it. Um, and then if I liked it, I was just going to get a bunch of shades. I've heard this product is comparable to the Kosas Cloud Set Powder, which I do have. So I'm going to try this out. I should have tried it out today, but I literally just kind of like, I was like, no, I don't want to try that. I wanted to try these powders that I'm going to show you guys next. So I kind of skipped it. But next time I'm going to try these when I do my makeup. And I'm going to do, maybe I'll do Sue one side, one, you know, one side Kosas and the other side Sephora. And then I'll let you guys know. It works this i picked up the pat mcgrath labs skin fetish sublime perfect blurring under eye powder in the shade light which is basically translucent in my opinion but this i heard was a really amazing under eye setting powder especially for mature skin when you have like fine lines and wrinkles and you don't want the powder to look cakey and settle weird it's supposed to be like super micro smooth soft finish I mean, I used it today and so far it looks really, really smooth underneath my under eyes, which I haven't seen that in a while. Normally my under eyes do get a little cakey. So I'm curious to see how the day goes, but so far this is literally doing what it says it does. So I'm very, very happy with that. And then I tried out the Prism Libre number three. This is the matte finish Enhance Radiance Loose Powder. I heard such amazing things about this range of powders. They come in different colors. So this is like the pinky nude tones. Um, they have like a purple green undertone. So it depends on what tones you're looking to kind of correct. But this one, the pink one would be more like brightening, awakening, kind of neutral. So that's why I just got number three. That way I could use it on most people. But very, very very impressed with this product my face looks like i have a filter on it and that's kind of what i heard about this product that it was giving like this filtery finish on the skin so i'm very intrigued to see how my makeup wears today and i'll give you guys an update um later on today but i'm very impressed okay that's everything that i picked up from the sephora sale for makeup wise i did get a perfume it's my favorite perfume it's actually the mason louis number no. four i got like the tiniest bottle that they give <laughs> because i wanted it for my purse but this is literally a dupe for the lab Le labo santel 33 if you love that perfume and you don't want to pay the price this is your bestie so like i said everything will be linked below so you guys don't have to go searching for it i'll just Put it all down there. I think I might actually just link my Sephora faves for you guys. That way you can shop any other products that you're interested in. Um, and then everything that I talked about will still be included in that link. Too. Good morning, you guys. This is my view from the shower and while I get ready for work this morning. Why does this have to happen when I gotta go to work? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh my, oh no. What happened? <laughs> did you get yogurt all over yourself? <laughs> Bath time is over. I just made my breakfast. You guys saw this yesterday. It's so funny because I actually grew up up until like literally pregnancy and like postpartum. I have hated oatmeal. I've never liked the texture, never liked it. It was just, ugh, it was so gross to me. And now I love it so much. So this is my big bowl of oatmeal in the morning because I'm gonna be in the salon today. Um, but I really, really like this in the morning. So this is like one of my favorite things. I'm also trying out Strong and Sexy Fits um, fat burner and like, it's like an energy drink and stuff too. So I've got that going in this thing as well. Today is a work day though. We are in the salon today. I actually have one of my best friend's sisters coming in today to get her highlights done. And then I have a regular coming in for her cut later today. I think I kept today kind of short for some reason, but I don't really remember why.
friend Morgan and her sister Shelby. Shelby is getting her color done and that was the final result. Now I am putting all of my Sephora stuff that I got recently into my kit. And I'm actually, I think I'm gonna condense some of this stuff too. Um, so I'm just kind of putting everything in my kit. I need to condense the Givenchy powder into like a little container like this. This is the Laura Mercier powder. So um, that's what I'm doing, stuff like that. I also just put the Got To Be Glue in a little mascara wand because I like to use this for collecting flyaways um, and also eyebrows. So I'm making two of them. going to drive me nuts I think that's why I wear my hair up all the time when I'm at work because I just I can't have my hair down like especially when I'm watching somebody out in the sink like it bothers me it's rainy today so like this is kind of the vibe you need to go when you have naturally curly hair I'm not gonna be able to withstand this <laughs> throughout the day I also was like okay I could do a half up half down but my baby hairs from pregnancy my postpartum hairs just stick out I'm out of the house. I finished getting ready. I feel like it's just one of those days. I think my period's coming, so I literally just feel absolutely disgusting. My hair is a crapshoot, and so is my outfit. So, you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. Also, I just feel like today is a Monday, even though it's a Saturday. Like, I did the laundry last night, and I was late waking up this morning, so I didn't put the towels in the dryer ahead of time, so now I'm taking damp towels to work, and there's we don't have washer and dryers because we're in a very small studio, so I take the towels home with me, but um, there are apartments upstairs, and they have washer and dryers. You just have to pay for it, of course, so um, I'm just going to go up and use their dryer. <laughs> A lot of great clients coming in today so yeah it should be a really good day lots of good hair content for you guys by the way I did not vlog yesterday because I accidentally left my camera at home so that's why I am vlogging today um, I was intending on vlogging today as well but I wanted to vlog yesterday too but I literally left my camera literally in the garage I made it before my client like 10 minutes early which is great I usually like to be 15 20 minutes but whatever but now my client is late. So if you ever get your hair done, always be on time. Because now I'm stressing just a little bit because my rest of my day is gonna be backed up. This is the final look I did with the hair. I just kind of curled the front to make it a little bit easier and manageable and pinned up the rest in a claw clip. This is my boring outfit. You guys know I love my outfits and this is not giving me any good any good energy, but whatever. My first client of the day is done. Um, forgot to vlog it, but she was a level four um, root retouch, which is like just like a super dark brown. Um, and then I did her little haircut and blew out her hair. It was like nothing really fun to see, I guess. <laughs> no like crazy color transformation. She just needed her grays covered. And so I did that and I was kind of like trying to haul through it so that way she could sit and be done on time. Um, because her point was at 8 and I have a 9.45 and I finished at 9.30, which I'm so proud of. Um, I usually can get, you know, things done pretty quick. So, um, did her hair. Uh, we ended up chatting too because she has a 6 month old and of course I have my almost 13 month old. So, uh, we were just chatting about babies and all that stuff. So, now I'm sitting for 2 seconds. Towels are in the dryer. Thank goodness. Got those up in the dryer. I'm waiting for my next client, which I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in like six months. She's one of my lived in color clients. Um, and if you don't know, I don't see my lived in color clients that often. Um, or if you do hair, you know that they don't come in that often. She probably came in about four or five months ago. Um, and it's usually on average between four to six months is when I see my lived in color clients. And so I'm really excited to see her because she's like my Bravo bestie. Um, we're like both Bravo obsessed, but she knows a lot of Bravo dirt that I never know. So I'm excited to see her. We're going to talk about Scandaval and just like all that, you know, new Bravo stuff happening right now. So if you're a Bravo watcher, 
yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> so we're gonna sit and hang. I'll show you guys her before and after. And But I do need to actually order a yogurt or something from next door. There's a really, really yummy coffee shop next door to us. And I haven't eaten yet, so I'm going to order something to eat. Um, and their yogurt is actually really good and it's huge. So that will fill me up for most of the day. Baby, I see you hanging with your friends, chilling. Day and night for days on end. Now you can't come see me tonight. Say you ain't got the time. I'm the last one you prioritize. Peeping your IG pictures on my phone. I won't spend another night at home. Okay, I'ma just be on my way. Day. Day's over. Let's go get my baby. Yay. Hi. Hello. Good morning. It is Sunday today. My best friend just had a baby. I feel so good today, okay? Um, like I said, my bestie just had her baby. I actually don't know if she had him in the middle of the night or like this morning, but she texted us this morning a picture of him. And he's so cute. And I'm so excited for her to embark in this new journey of mommyhood. I like, I like literally, I cried in the shower. I'm not kidding, like I'm so excited for her. Okay, I put you guys there so I can just not hold you. Anyways, I'm heading to Pilates. I have an 11 a.m. class this morning. And then after we get back, I think I'm just going to, Esme should be going down for a nap either, by the time I'm back, she should be already asleep or she should be going down for a nap by the time I get back. When she's napping, I really, really, really need to go through my closet and put all of my winter stuff away and take out my spring and summer stuff um, because it's getting warmer, obviously. And I have zero spring clothes in my closet, so I need to like go through my closet, get rid of some stuff, maybe even there might be stuff in those bins that I just like don't care about anymore. So. That's gonna be on the agenda for today. Pilates is done, and I feel like I'm dead. My whole body was quivering, quivering. I was telling my sister-in-law because she does powerlifting, and um, I was like, you need to try Pilates out with me. It's so much fun, and like, if you think you work out, you don't, because this targets muscles that you didn't know you have. And I do the Lagri or Larg, however you say, it's like the table machine Pilates. Oh my God, I'm dead. Also, I highly recommend doing Pilates if you are newly postpartum or honestly any time of postpartum once you're cleared to work out basically. It's really great for your pelvic floor. Um, probably even pregnant it's safe to do. I'm sure you have to modify some of the moves but highly recommend it postpartum because it really 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 helps your pelvic floor. I'm not kidding. Um, in recovery after having a baby. So I'm really happy that I got into this type of workout program. guys so Esme's currently napping thank goodness hoping she naps for like two three hours three hours would be wonderful but um I'm in my room it's a complete and utter disaster in here I am transitioning my closet over from fall winter to spring summer and I do this every year we live in a smaller well it's not a smaller home it's just it's an older home so like there's no such thing as storage in older homes so like this is my closet and it's not very big. I'm lucky if I fit a full season in this closet. So anyways, I'm transitioning my closet right now while she's sleeping. And I'm also whispering because I feel like I'm gonna wake her up for some reason. But I just got rid of a bunch of fall winter clothes, packed away everything I was keeping. And now I am brought up all my spring summer and I still have bins downstairs and I'm like, why do I have all these clothes? So now I'm like fully inspired to just like completely delete my whole entire wardrobe and start over. I feel like I'm having a style crisis this point postpartum. I don't know if this happened to anybody else. Um, if you resonate with this, let me know. But I feel like one year postpartum, you start to really feel like yourself again. And like now that I'm done breastfeeding, I'm feeling like myself again but I'm still at this awkward point with my body. My body isn't exactly where 
I would hope it to be to feel comfortable but also like my clothes just don't fit right like I was just trying on some spring summer clothes and I was like I was definitely humbled okay um so that's kind of where I'm at I don't know I feel like some of the clothes that I was wearing last year and within the last couple years it's just not who I am anymore and I feel like I need to I kind of want to like find my find my new style identity so that's what we're gonna do okay I'm trying on clothes to see if they still fit if they don't I'm getting rid of I think one of my problems too with clothes is that I have like a million different styles like I have clothes in my closet that are like for my edgy side then I have clothes in my closet for like my hippie side like sometimes some of my clothes don't make sense <laughs> I need my wardrobe to make sense at this point I need to build like a capsule wardrobe or something because there's a lot of personalities happening in my closet. <laughs> I don't know what like the easiest way to do your closet is, but for me, my philosophy is, is anything I'm keeping when I'm like literally overhauling a closet is I'm just gonna throw everything I'm keeping on the bed. <laughs> and then maybe everything I wanna get rid of in a pile. I don't know. This room is so small too, so it's like I can't go crazy or else I'll feel overwhelmed. But I think that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna put everything I'm keeping on my bed, clean basket of laundry, and then everything I'm getting rid of, I'm just gonna put in a pile, maybe. I'm gonna go through my shoes too. Like there's some shoes in there, I'm like, why do I have this? So I'm gonna do a lot, I'm gonna do a lot today. You wanna know what's also crazy? I have three pairs of my favorite A Goldie denim shorts. They're the denim shorts in the color Swap Meat, Parker Vintage Swap Meat shorts. Um, I'll link them below for you guys because they are literally the best pair of shorts in your entire life they're so good um but i have them in three different sizes so that way i can wear them at different stages in my life and i'll never get rid of them i think i've had them now for like three four years they're no i've definitely had them for five best 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 shorts mm -hmm. 